It's Sunday afternoon, and even though it was the weekend, I feel exhausted. Does anybody ever feel that way? For dinner, I have the best solution. So keep watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. The channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And on the way home today, we stopped by the Japanese market, which I love to do. And first, I wanted to kind of share exactly what I purchased, but also tonight we are making shabu shabu. If you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love shabu shabu and there's so many reasons why, but to put it in a few words, it's easy. It doesn't take, um, there's not a lot of prep time. It's just really cutting vegetables and it's just a great meal to enjoy as a family. We bought all the ingredients for that, which I'll share with you right now and some other things because I just miss Japan. And then we're going to be heading to my mom and dad's house for dinner to share our lovely shabu shabu meal that we can eat as a family. Keep watching. So there's a couple of Japanese markets here on Oahu that we like to go to. There's Marukai and Don Quixote, which I believe are owned by the same company. So you pretty much get the same products across at both. I prefer Marukai just for the more authentic experience, um, but Don Quixote, is, there's more of them and it's just more accessible, so that's where we went to today. Another another market that we also like is Nijia Market. That one also has, it's a, it's a lot smaller than, the, um, than Don Quixote or Marukai, but you still have a lot of options there as well. First things first, we'll start with our shabu shabu things before we get all crazy but we got our shabu shabu sauce my mom will also make one from scratch but we really like this brand aji pon brand and this ponzu literally is just shoyu and lemon mixed together but this one is just yeah it, it just brings out the flavor of all the foods that we're eating really nicely so this is our favorite ponzu sauce to get for shabu shabu a big thing for shabu shabu is noodles and i got two kinds so we have udon noodles and I also got yaki soba noodles. And I know Ellie will love both of these and she will, she loves shabu shabu. I believe this is the toy sum. So we're gonna be boiling this up too. Greens is always great for shabu shabu and this is one of our favorites. And all we're literally gonna do is wash and chop and it is good to go. We have the main event, which is always the cabbage. Cabbage and shabu shabu is like the staple that you need for shabu shabu. Oh, one more vegetable is our um, mushrooms. So my favorite are enoki mushrooms. Sometimes in the Japanese markets, it's hit or miss. Like they have them or sometimes they don't, but today they did. So this is my favorite mushroom, but you can use all kinds of mushrooms for shabu shabu. Shiitake is great too. Um, but this one, I just like how it like has like a little bit of a crunch, not a crunch, but the texture is a little bit different when you chew it. Now for our meats for shabu shabu, we just have some salmon filet that we're just gonna cut into small strips. And we also bought some arabiki sausage. Kids also love this as well. The Japanese brand one we love to get if it's available. And so, actually this is not Japanese, sorry. This is Redondo's, but we just, yeah, we love Arabiki. Just, it's like a, it snaps when you, when you cook it. So great sausage for shabu shabu. And then we also got a Kubota pork, pork belly. So this is um, just a really thinly sliced pork. And I think this is like one of the main reasons why you'd want to shop at like a Japanese market if you can, when you do shabu shabu, um, because they already have really thinly sliced meats made for you know sukiyaki or shabu shabu and so it just makes it really really easy to prepare we just got regular it just says thin sliced beef now for the fun stuff that i wanted to just try because i missed japan was i love we got these when we were there and they sell them at don quixote but these seaweed and salt potato chips it's like regular to potato chips but it's like a nori flavor and one thing I like about Japanese potato chips is just it's not as oily, I feel, as some of the brands here. And so, yeah, I don't get this often, but I figured I will treat myself a little bit and have a little snack. And then I got this for Ellie because when we were in Japan, I we tried a lot of different baby snacks and we got her like the mum mum crackers and all the different ones that she could try. And she really liked these, um, she had a different flavor of it, but she had the, these Anpan Man snacks. So 
on them again and I think she'll really like these. And I also got mandarin oranges and how Japanese wrap this is just always so, it's like top quality and so it just, if, it looks like it's going to be really sweet. So I'll have Ellie try this later, she loves oranges and we'll, we'll see. I got snow crab meat, canned snow crab meat, I've never tried this before, let me know if you have. Um, but I just thought this looked really interesting. I love crab and maybe, you know, I can make a dip or we can somehow just eat this over rice. I don't know. But I'm gonna figure out how I can use this snow crab meat. I think it'll be really delicious. And got some Meiji chocolates. I always like the, the trees or the, um, or the bamboo shoot chocolate, you know, the ones that uh, come in this brand. But today I wanted to be a little bit more daring and I wanted to try the macadamia nut uh, made you chocolates, which I've never tried before. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it just tastes like a chocolate with a nut, but yeah, I wanted to get something different. So the last two things that I got were because I just missed the vending machines in Japan. And I just, one of my favorite parts about going to Japan is just being able to have a drink of water or soda or coffee and i got just two because they're really expensive here in hawaii like i mean in japan these would probably be like a little bit more than a dollar or with the exchange rate maybe just a dollar but here these are like 250 to three dollars so i just didn't want to get too many but i got one of my favorites which i got this one in japan a lot which was the the latte and this one obviously has milk but yeah, I enjoyed this one. I'm gonna enjoy this one later, probably another day, cause I already had coffee today. And I also wanted to try a matcha. I've been really into like iced matcha lattes lately and wanted to try to see how this one is. I, I haven't had this one in Japan, but I'm gonna try this one. But I think we'll have it over ice now as I prep the rest of these vegetables. Keep watching as I finish preparing all of the foods for Shabu Shabu night and come along to my mom's house with me. Okay, so I already tried some of my matcha, but I wanted to also try it for you guys on camera. I forgot to film it the first time, but I'm going to have a little bit more matcha. It's an afternoon pick me up. And honestly, this one is a little bit sweet for me. Like it, I, I per personally, I like matcha when it's a, a little bit more heavier on the matcha flavor and less on the sweetness. Um, but I guess because this one's bottled, then this is probably, how they come but overall really good flavor and who doesn't love matcha in the afternoon i feel like it it just feels i feel a little less guilty drinking matcha in the afternoon especially when i already had coffee in the morning so hmm. it's refreshing for sure after tasting my matcha, it took me about 30 minutes to prepare all the vegetables. And by prepare, I mean wash, cut, and put into my glass Pyrex pan to take on the go. Then I washed and cut my cabbage and placed it in a large glass mixing bowl. I found green beans in my fridge, which at this point were about two weeks old. They were still good, but definitely needed to be used. Since they were a little hard, I decided to blanch them a little to make it a little easier when we boiled them in the shabu shabu water. Now that we've got everything ready, let's head to my parents' house. Personally, I think that one of the most important parts of Shabu Shabu is making the plating process aesthetically pleasing. Even though the ingredients are mainly just cabbage, mushrooms, and basic things like meat and sausage, it just makes the experience feel more special and high quality. Let me know in the comments what your favorite food to eat when eating Shabu Shabu. I've always been a fan of cabbage, enoki mushrooms, and arabiki sausage. My favorites. As you can see here, Reed is graciously helping me plate all the meats and veggies, which I really appreciated. I also forgot to mention that I recently watched the Netflix documentary on Blue Zones and bought this big bag of sweet potato. And so I boiled some sweet potato beforehand and I also made it as another option for people to put into the shabu shabu pot and eat alongside all of these other yummy ingredients.
sometimes when we eat shabu shabu we make this more nabe style and we put a sauce into the pot already but tonight we are doing basic shabu shabu and we are just putting in a little piece of kombu so we are currently trying to uh, we we're actually we we're just, just about to get ready to eat and the pot our pot that we've been that we had for a long time was um, you know it was getting hot and everything but all of a sudden I think it tripped and the whole pot just kind of died and so now we have to troubleshoot and figure out another method so if you don't have a shabu shabu pot at home um, but you have like the portable gas stove you can use that and just a regular pan which is probably now what we're gonna do because I think our pot died what do you think Reed? It's dead. Gotta get rid of it. It served us well though. It lasted us eight years. I think since the beginning of our relationship. So it's been, yeah, eight years. So long live our pot, but now we, so it, it's an excuse to buy a new one. But for tonight, we have to, for tonight, we have to figure out another option. So at first we are going to use a stainless steel pot, but my mom found my sister's ceramic nabe pot. But you can basically use any pot to make this work. That is what makes this dish so simple and easily accessible for everyone. This is mom's ponzu. Mom made ponzu. Mm, she put, I think, lemon and orange in hers. So it's a little bit sweeter than like the store bought one. But usually you eat shabu shabu with two bowls. And you have your rice bowl and you have your food bowl. And tonight we're having brown rice. Really simple, but very nutritious. Mm. Ellie also likes it. You want more, Mama? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna try mushrooms. Some enoki mushrooms. You just need one foot in. In college, yeah. Mom, how's your shabu shabu? Good. Well, I could mm, Delicious. What's your favorite part about shabu shabu? Mmm. Mmm. Well, I love all the vegetables, especially. Mm -hmm. And the salmon is delicious. And the noodles. It's just freshly cooked. Yes. Yeah. And I think it's fairly healthy. And we made our own ponzu sauce too. So tell everybody, what did you put in your own ponzu? So the recipe I use is half an orange and half a big, kind of big Meyer lemon. And um, so that came up to a little bit over a fourth of a cup. And so I added another, a little bit over a fourth of a cup of shoyu. So we had about a half a cup. And I can make more because I have the other half of the, the um, lemon and half of the orange to make some more. And how, did you see how much oil you used? It's the one in one. Oh, one in one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And our chef here. I have milk too. It looks good. good. The mushrooms, the enoki mushrooms. The boys are drinking water. Give them water. Reed, what's your favorite part about shabu shabu? The ponzu sauce. Really? You have milk. Mm. You have milk. You have milk. Mm. How 
Yes, shabu shabu. Thank you, Megan. Yes. How shabu shabu, Aiko? Uh, that can. Good. Should I make more corn uh, sauce? It's really fast. I can make more. I really like the vegetables. Oh, you like the vegetables? Oh. Yeah. The hot dog. The hot dog is good? I'm going to end this video here as always. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course I'll see you in the next one. Bye.